What's up, YouTube? This is Farmer Son prepping here. Hang on, let me adjust you. You tend to be a little crooked here, it looks like. Oh. Oh well, maybe that'll work. Today I was going to talk to you about uh, water filtration. Now I was going to do this at the creek, <laughs> but at the moment I can't tell the creek from the lake. It's uh, they're all out of banks. It's one ginormous flooded pasture out there. It has rained here every day for the last two weeks at least. But anyhow, this bucket right here is going to be our pond or lake or creek, whatever have you. Uh, maybe you can see it. Maybe I need to adjust you down a little bit. That's all you go. Maybe. Maybe that'll work. All right. So this bucket right here will be our body of water. A lot of people have a Sawyer Mini, uh, so I will tell you, you know, you hear a lot of talk about these fitting water bottles. They will not fit all water bottles, because uh, I've tried it. You usually have to buy like an Aquafina or something like a water, like a water you buy at the store for this to screw onto it. The little collapsible kind of water bottles, you know, you kind of buy a 30 pack of will not work on this okay so this uh let me get this grass out of here this uh bucket's pretty nasty i'm gonna tell you it's a dog water bucket uh so as you can see here i've got my red bandana or a pre-filter um i'm gonna tell you uh I was naive, I guess, uh, when I first started doing this stuff on a camping trip and stuff, I thought you'd just be able to basically put this over the opening of the bottle and let the water sink down into the bottle. Well, I'm going to tell you, it'll work like that, but you're going to have to get down in the water. I mean, literally, you're going to have to get in the water and hold it down there for about 20 minutes for it to work that way. It takes forever for that water to get through that pre-filter. So, that, it took me a while to figure that out. Okay, uh, this is your little squeeze bag for your Sawyer Mini. You're going to basically, uh, when you first get them, they're going to be all collapsed down like this right here. You want to take and just blow them out. Get them all opened up, okay. Um, get you get down in here look for that little bubbling action here see if you can't uh, get the it ain't always going to work just the way you want it to uh, you know I have to kind of open the bag underwater a little bit sometimes it takes multiple tries to get enough water in there to actually filter. Of course, I'm dropping stuff in the mud. This one is good. Mud everywhere in Alabama right now. Okay. So, the basically what the Sawyer Mini is, you always want to check your flow arrow on here. It's got an arrow on it. You screw it onto your bag or your water bottle if you've been lucky enough to find one that will fit it, okay? And then you basically squeeze your bag so the water comes out. That's how this works. Not the best tasting water in the world, but you can drink this and survive. Uh, so that is one way of doing it. Plus two, y'all, when you're, after you filtered your water, 
you want to make sure that you leave your bags open and uh, like this uh, filter right here it now has water inside of it blow the water out of your filter blow it dry and then you let it sit without the cap on and let it dry out as well a lot of people haven't talked about that so thought I would bring that up uh, Yeah, there's just no dry place to set stuff. Of course, this is your backwash. Another thing is, uh, you take this right here, you put clean water in it, like from the sink, once you get back home, you put clean water in it, you backwash that Sawyer Mini, and then you do the blow the, blow the water back out of it again, and then you let it air dry. Okay. This here is the grill. I've never used this before, okay. The cap has to be either off or loose, or you won't be able to pull the filter part out because it's an airlock. Alright. Basically this part right here is your filter. Now, this is your cut. Uh, you can take and cover it up like this and try to uh, let water in the cup like this but I'm telling you y'all it takes 30 minutes to get enough water in here to filter by doing it like this the, the other way you can do it is you can stick it down in the cup like run your hand down through it I can get it out without it coming back out where you kind of got it where it looks like that then you can take Yeah. metal container okay it fills up nice and quick without a pre-filter and then you can just pour it in and it'll pre-filter that way this is much faster than trying to hold the cloth over the uh, mouth and doing it underwater way faster this way and then just pick it up there's going to be a little bit of water in there. Dang it, right there, I'm getting messy today. Okay, these things here have a fill line. I'm a little above the fill line. If you're above the fill line, it'll spit water back at you. Okay. So now, you take the grill, you basically just push it. And I mean, you got to push it. You'll hear the air coming through. The opening up here on the top takes a few minutes to push it down. Anyhow, I'm probably going to run out of that gum space on my phone. My phone will only record for like 10 minutes. There's so much junk on it. She's just about in there. Alright. And that water there is filtered and it's ready to drink for the, for the nozzle. Again, doesn't have a good taste but it's clean water. And that, you're ready to go. Push it all the way down. She's ready to go. So, and again, uh, after you filtered your water, well, of course, uh, you know, like when you come back from a camping trip or whatever, obviously in the SHTF, you wouldn't have the time probably to, to do all this. Dump your water back out. Okay. Pull this out. Now, what Grail says you're supposed to do is make a couple of dry runs with this thing to push the water out of that filter. Let me unscrew this cap again. Huh? Alright, you make a couple of dry runs and it'll push that water 
out of the filter down there. And look, that came out of the filter. So it's vitally important that you dry these things out properly. Make a couple of dry runs in it. And a little bit more. You hear that, that airlock. Alright, she's dry. Now I will just set this all aside and let it dry the way it is. Yeah. As important as it is to know how to filter water, it's important to know how to take care of your water filters uh, after the fact. Because you don't want green stuff growing in there where it's been wet, where you stick it back in your bag and it's been wet the whole time. That ain't what you want. You want clean water. And you don't want water filtered with green stuff in it. So that's our video for today. Sloppy Day in Alabama. Like and subscribe if you would. And uh, again, I would be at the creek, but it's all underwater. Please, Lord, send some rain somewhere else. Uh, this is Farmer Son prepping y'all. We appreciate you watching. Give us a like, thumbs up, and share if you would. Awesome. And stop.